Kingston Mayor Delroy Williams says discussions are being held with the Jamaica Urban Transit Company in regards to the impending transformation. So that entire era from Ward Theatre, which is North Parade, to South, across the St. William Grand Park, mm -hmm. into South Parade, where you have the Kingston Parish Church, Ullman's Car Park, and the, what we know as Parade, going up and going to take bus. Mm -hmm. That entire space, the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, figure that that space would, would, be, would best serve the residents of Kingston and St. Andrew by becoming a recreational, a grand recreational space. It is, however, unclear where the new bus terminal will be located. We would want to remove the buses from there. And we have started so with no buses, no buses there. So there wouldn't be the bus bay there, which we believe is a, I mean, a, sorry, JUTC, but a blight on the area. Mm. So we have started those discussions, and those discussions are ongoing to have the buses relocate so that we can transform the space into a recreational historical space. He says monuments will be erected at parade and the area will be pedestrianized. And Mayor Williams has responded to criticisms about the changing timeline regarding the completion of restoration work at the Ward Theatre. Millions of dollars have so far been spent on the project. The municipal corporation says the restoration is advanced. So the, the changing timelines is really a result of people having new ideas and other players coming in. We're inviting experts from elsewhere. They come in, they share an idea that we believe, look, we should take that on board. And in the end, for us, in the end, it's best we go to next year and do a really good job. So when we open the Ward Theatre, that when our residents come in, they can appreciate it. When our children and the young persons come in, they can say, look here, it was well worth it. How much have you Mayor Williams was speaking at the latest RGR News Forum. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.